Hey everyone, um, gorgeous day out here. Obviously after that huge front of snow we got, everything kind of got warm and started to melt. So right now we're gonna head to the hardware store and see if we can get some new equipment to uh, fix a couple things on the tractor and uh, to make the snow pusher a little bit better. Now those of you who are really with it might realize that it's suddenly nighttime. What's going on, big guy little tractor? Well, you see, I tried to record the footage on my dash cam, but it didn't actually work out like I expected. So I grabbed the only piece of royalty-free driving video I could find, and I threw it in for fun. This is obviously a great time to remind everyone to subscribe to the channel for more quality content like this. And now, back to the real video. All right, so we went to town, and I got uh, not exactly what I was looking for, but going to see if these little clamps will work for the bottom of the snow pusher. I've seen some other people with some other ideas that we can try out if that doesn't work though. So time to head home. Hey everyone, big guy little tractor here. So it is a lovely day out as you can see. Um, unfortunately, most of the snow has melted over the last couple of days, um, leaving me with no snow to plow. So I thought we'd come out here and play around a little bit, see if I can uh, come up with version 2.0 of the homemade snow pusher and fix a few things on the chains. Hope you enjoy. In another absolutely genius move, I completely missed hitting record on the whole part where I drill two holes in these boards. Luckily, basically anybody could do this. All I did was drill two holes in the boards, lower down, so I could put in extra clamps. Now, while I walk around and show you how those extra clamps go on, I just can't believe that uh, somebody with this level of quality content wouldn't have a thousand subscribers. I mean, look at me, I'm, uh, I'm doing a how-to that doesn't need to be done in any way. Basically just a picture could explain this entire part. Anyway, whatever. Once I put the clamps on the other side, version 2.0 was done. Now, one of the biggest problems I had before was that the boards would kind of slide up when you put any uh, pressure on them at all. But with that other clamp at the bottom, it seems like it's much, much sturdier. We'll have to wait for the next snowfall to find out because even though I actually did go test it out on my own, I forgot to hit record on that video as well. I am a genius. And it turns out there's other people out there doing this as well. So this picture came from Spencer in Virginia. Now you can see that he uh, took more time than I did on the design. Spencer actually took the time to cut the piece of plywood to fit the bucket appropriately and even around the edge tamer there. He has the edge extenders as you can see and he's cut two holes through the boards and used a wire to wrap around the edge extender to help hold it together as well. In addition to that he already had a hole in his bucket from the piranha tooth bar so he just used that hole to bolt things on as well. Another thing I'd like to do if I ever get a tooth bar, I just don't want to put two holes in the bucket in the same general area. If anyone else has tried this out or is going to do so in the future um, and wants to send your clips in, I'd love to feature them on a future episode. Just send them to bigguylittletractor at gmail.com. I think that's about it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video that probably didn't need to be made in any way. And, uh, you know, I'll see you next time.